Welcome to another rant quest. I'm the Blood Nile of the Old Republic of Blood Afghanistan, but you already know that. And yeah, another rant quest. Yeah. One of the This is this is just after watching uh having watched the Timeless Children multiple times, cause you know that's shit. You know, that was the first time. You watched it on TV. Then the second time to just remind to just remind you what kind of shit you just experienced. And then the third time to do to actually fuck the pig and try and review it that shit. Put shit in your notepad. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've been thinking about it. And yeah, one of the unintended quests. Ah, oh, one of the unintended victims of the Timeless Children is the Master. Now, the Master went from being the Moriarty to, to the Dr. Sherlock. He, he went from being the Moriarty of the series of Doctor Who to being literally an... To, to literally being... A, Chris Chibnall's fucking mouthpiece. Literally his fucking mouthpiece. And yeah. In all honesty. Yeah, I've been thinking about been thinking about the master. And like the last few episodes of Peter Capaldi's air run of Doctor Who, which was which, yeah. I like Peter Capaldi. I'll admit that. I like I liked his run when he wasn't bogged down by Clara Sue. That's another video. M maybe another video after this. But yeah, the master. When the master died, she li she she literally got killed by herself. She, and she literally killed her past self. And yeah, I thought that death was a. Uh, it looked pretty permanent there. It it looked pretty pretty permanent. And then the fact that the only two Tardises were escaping from that uh, that cyber tower ship that was headed into a or pulling away slowly from a black hole. Yeah. The fact that the, the fact that the death, that the master's death looked like it was going to be really, really permanent. It looked like it was going to be really, really permanent. Did I believe the character was dead at that moment? Permagon? See, now, I, I honestly, I thought, it's like, yeah, they're probably going to bring the master back and again or something. Somehow. Maybe it wasn't a f completely fatal shot as they thought, or as the master thought, because he's not that so he's not that much into self harm. That well, except for when she literally killed his past self. Well, yeah. Ugh. Aside from that. Uh, the master's not really that much, wasn't really that much into self-harm, except for when it counted. And I don't think he'd permanently off himself. It would become a her at this point. It is. These prefixes are fucking complicated. So anyway. I thought, it's like, yeah, the master's, the master's gone. We're gonna need a good. We're gonna need a really, really good explanation for how the master survived. Something like that. Something like that. The way Stephen Moffat set it up. Now, mm. yeah. Now here's my opinion. Now here's my. Here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts. I think Stephen Moffat intentionally 
killed the master as a sort of shit test for anyone coming after him. I think he, he made it as a shit test of sorts. It's like, yeah, we have the master going one way. He's gonna be the al he's gonna be the doctor's ally of sorts, maybe. Yeah, because if he regenerates, yeah, he's, m might still be the doctor's ally. We don't know for certain. So they'd have that. To, they'd they'd have that to. They have that to explain why why the master has now become the doctor's enemy again, and then you would also have then you'd, you'd also have to explain how the master survived from the cyber ship. You have to explain that. Ugh. Really, really, it seems to me like that was a shit test for them. For any few, yeah, shit test. Like, if you don't, if you don't properly explain this, then, yeah, it, it may be, you, you, there's, there's no excuse for what you're writing after. Words to be not called shit, you know? Like, if you don't give an adequate explanation as to how the Master survived this one instance where it looked like he permanently offed himself, then, yeah, if you're a fan of the Doctor, if you're a fan of Doctor Who, if you're a fan of Doctor Who and you're not, if you weren't demanding a answer or something, or if you don't give an adequate answer, then you're a garbage writer. Uh, now, yeah, the Master has gotten out of some sticky situations. We don't see how it happened. But we never see the but we never saw the Master get permanently killed. Or permanently off himself. We never see that. We see the Master escape from Harry's situations, but not that. So, yeah. This is just me ranting and rambling right now. Mm. Yeah, I'll do a takeaway. Oh, a takeaway video, I think. So, anyway. This, yeah. What happened to the Master is fucking terrible. Like the like the master, yeah, Moriarty went from Moriarty to being lukewarm allies with the doctor, with the doctor, and then from there, the master became the master became Chris Chibnall's fucking mouthpiece. And that's really fucking sad for the character. You 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 feel more. That the doctor is just getting, you feel more for the doctor because, like, the doctor, and Doctor Who in general is like getting just getting shit on. But yeah, the fact that Chris Chibnall dragged the Master into this bullshit, yeah, just fucking debased and. Just debase the character, you know. <sighs> Fuck me. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video now. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep rambling. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Afghanistan. Get your jewels in one where you can. Stay frosty. Stay sexy. Stay San Diego. And I'm a spaceman. Peace.